We're gonna start off in a standing squat hold. So feet six inches apart, tighten your glutes, make sure your glutes are engaged, tighten your core by reaching your tailbone down, and then pretend like you're sitting down into a chair Bring your arms out in front of you. Now I also want you to start making your hip flexors aware here so you can start to flex right in the fronts of your hips, upper part of your hips, kind of where your waist is. Just try to feel some awareness in there. So you're feeling your core working, your glutes working, keeping the chest lifted, arms out in front. And if you want, you can kind of pulse a little bit here, kind of just moving your butt slowly up and down just to help get your legs warm. In order to work into flexibility, you're gonna to have to make your legs nice and warm in order to do that. Otherwise, it'd be kinda of like stretching a rubber band that was just put in the freezer. It would snap, it would suck. All right, and then from here, take a forward fold. Relax your head and neck. Use your core strength to fold down. All right, step your left foot to the back, moving into a runner's lunge. Knee over the ankle and the front foot, pressing down through your right heel, tightening your left thigh, keeping your core aware. And for now, just really warming up your legs, so really tighten the back thigh, push down hard through your right foot, keep your chest pulling forward. Two more breaths here. And we wanna focus on the hips here. Whenever you're in a lunge, in a squat, try not to put the majority of the weight in your knees. Your hips are a lot stronger. They're meant to take more stress. Your knees are not. They are not mobile joints. All right, and then step back up, take a forward fold. Look behind you, relax your head and neck. All right, half lift, pull your body forward, flatten out your back and then fold back down, looking behind you. Step your right leg to the back, press down through your left foot, tighten your right thigh, keep your chest lifted, tightening your core as you pull your chest forward. Again, really dig down through your left heel to get your glute active. Feel your left thigh working as well. Two more breaths here. Make sure that your hips are squared. You should feel a bit of a stretch to the front of your right hip. And if you don't, you can try pulling your hip forward or back. Whatever you need to do to square your hips so that they're both facing straight forward. And then step back up to a forward fold. And look behind you, tightening your core to fold. And then pull into a half lift from here. Flattening out your back core and lower back awareness, and then fold back down. All right, take it back to a squat hold. Just briefly push down through both feet, tighten your glutes, and then lift up all the way. Arms overhead, and then arms along your sides. All right, from here into a one leg balance to engage your hip flexors. Start with your right foot, screw your foot into the ground. So kind of lifting the arch of the foot, turning your ankles, spinning your ankles in. Press down through your right foot, tighten your glute, tighten your thigh, and bring your left hip, your left knee up to hip level. Now push your left thigh into your left hand and feel your hip, your hip flexor engage. Keep this leg, keep the lower leg relaxed. So just let that kind of fall wherever it will. So not engaging the quad, but engaging the hip flexor. So pushing your hand into your hip, into your thigh to engage the hip flexor, keeping your right leg firm, pushing down through the right foot, keeping the chest open. All right, and then release that foot down. Bring your right leg up now. Again, screw your left foot into the ground, push down through your right heel, and the ball of the foot, tightening your thigh, tightening your glute right hand into the right thigh and really pushing hand into thigh pushing your thigh woo, back into your hand it's also a balance exercise and the goal here is again turning on your hip flexor so you can relax your lower right leg just kind of let the heel dangle there so your quad is not flexed your quad is relaxed here we're forcing the hip flexor to engage to hold this leg up 
And if this is new for you, if you're feeling that muscle in the front of your hip, and you're like, oh my God, what is that? That's your hip flexor. You need those. All right, and then release down. All right, going to the exact opposite of that, we're gonna do a standing bow pose. For some of you, that might be a standing bow pose prep. And start on the right foot, and again, spinning the foot down, lifting the arch. Bring your left heel toward your butt. Grab the big toe side of your left foot. Reach your right arm straight up in the air. Relax the shoulders, reach your tailbone down. Big breath in. Exhale and kick into your hand. Reach forward and up with your right hand. Now keep your hips facing straight forward. The goal here is engaging your hip flexor and engaging your quad. So using the strength of your left leg to push into your, right, your left hand. Keeping your right arm up, keeping the tailbone reaching down. So even though we are arching the back, keeping your core engaged by keeping that awareness in your lower back and in your lower core. All right, and then release. Bring that foot down, switch sides. Bring your right heel in toward your butt. Grab the big toe side. Bicep faces out. So you're not internally rotating shoulder, but keeping that open. Left arm up, big inhale. Exhale, kick into your right hand. Square your hips toward the front. Allow your right shoulder to be pulled down and back, reaching the tailbone down to keep your core active. And then pushing back harder into your right hand. And really using the strength of your right leg to make this pose happen. You're gonna have to use your left leg too, your fall over, but focus on the right leg here, pushing back into your hand. And if this is where you are, then that's fine too. You don't have to go that deep into this to make it work. All right, go ahead and release. And then from here, taking it back into a runner's lunge. So bending your knees, forward fold, left foot back into runner's lunge, squeezing your legs toward one another, tightening the core, pushing down through your right foot, tightening your glute here, pulling the chest forward. And again, focusing here on tightening your right glute. So we're kind of doing the exact opposite of what we did with a standing bow pose. Now with your right leg. One more breath here. And then step back up, take a forward fold, look behind you. Half lift, pull your body forward. Exhale and fold. Step your right leg to the back. Runner's lunge, opposite side. Press your left hip toward the ground. Keep your right leg firm. Pull the chest forward while keeping your hips back. Make sure the arch of your left foot is lifted. Keep your neck nice and long here. You can bring an internal rotation, an internal rotation to your right thigh to help get a deeper stretch to the outer right hip. So think of getting the knee to face straight down toward the ground. It might be facing a little bit out to the side. One more breath here. All right, step back up to a forward fold. Look behind you. Half lift, pull your body forward. Fold back down, plant your hands, take it back into a plank, hands under your shoulders, triceps wrapping back, biceps facing forward, pushing down to the ball mounds of your fingers, keeping your belly button lifted, keeping the thighs engaged. All right, and then lower down all the way, flat onto your chest, flip your feet, squeeze your legs together, push your chest, push your core and your hips down, and then lift into Cobra. Pull your shoulders down, squeeze your elbows in. Push the top of your head forward. And then bring your arms along your sides, point your toes back, lift your legs into full locus. So now working your hips, lifting your thighs, pointing the legs back, lifting your chest. Two more breaths here. Make your body as long as you can. So really point the toes, push the top of your head forward, lift your chest, one more breath and then down. 
All right, from here, taking it back to a down dog. Fingers spread wide, shoulders plugged in to your back, arms pulling down away from, or shoulders pulling down away from the ears and feet about six inches apart. Bend your knees, bring your knees toward the ground. Make a flat back here, so find that core awareness and then shift your butt up and back with that core awareness. For a down dog, so lengthening your back now. Even if we're focusing on the hips, we need the whole body involved to make this work. So down dog is a really good way to get your spine aligned, to tighten your core, to make sure your hamstrings are loose. One more breath here. Okay. Thanks for joining me for this workout today. Make sure you subscribe. We put out lots of videos like this on a very regular basis. And to get full access to all of my workouts, my programs, tutorials, and more, head to manfulyoga.com. Sign up for a seven-day trial. It's just $1. Thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you on the next video.